friends. Today is Monday, June 24th. I'm headed out to the grocery store. I didn't go yesterday because I spent the day at the pool. We had bocce last night. It was such a gorgeous day. I need to get some groceries as it is. And we're gonna go see Gianna tonight. So I was there last week and Mark's like, I miss her so much. We're gonna pick up my mom, my mother-in-law and Allie and I head to Pittsburgh and I told them I'll go ahead and just whip up something to take. And that way we don't have to worry about, Morgan doesn't have to worry about dinner. We can just enjoy one another and just uh, cuddling and just uh, hugging and uh, looking at Giada and all her beautifulness and enjoy a great night together. I need to get to the grocery store, get home, get some cooking done. Welcome back to another one of my vlogs. All I can say, that was the fastest time it ever took to go buy a car. I forgot today that I wanted to go and uh, our lease on our Highlander that Mark drives is up in a few weeks and I've dealt with Toyota oh my goodness you guys 15 years yeah I just walked in and I'm like all right my Highlander lease is up and this is what we want Mark's like not picky he's like just pick me out something I did I put no money down I tell him what I'm gonna what I want to pay and the deal was done so I'm done We're picking up a new car tomorrow for Mark Woohoo! he was like thank you so much I know he's so busy and it's nice that you can just go in and take care of it and you work with dealerships that are so awesome to work with. I mean, even the GM people were super sweet when I got my Tahoe here. So I'm gonna run into, I was gonna make all this delicious this food to make to Morgan's. I thought, why don't I just go to this wonderful Italian place and get some food to take to Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm gonna get pasta and meatballs uh, for everyone else, salad for me, and I'm gonna find some kind of a protein to eat with it. So, made my grocery shopping much easier. But I do still need to go to the grocery store. I'm gonna run in, pick up this food, get a few things at the grocery, and uh, head home. Wait for everyone, uh, for Mark to get home. We're gonna head to Pittsburgh. So excited. I am home and I feel like I've been like through the war. I'm like, I'm literally, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I did so much in the couple of hours. I mean, bought a car. Went into a caterer and got stuff to take tonight. Went and got some other groceries. I just stopped at this one place to talk about filming a video. Uh, and I stopped at 850 Blues because I needed to pick up something for our trip to Vegas. And now I'm home. So just put everything away. I'm going to try to sit down just for a few minutes because we're going to hit the road here in about an hour and a half. I just want to catch my breath. Especially because yeah, I want to be able to be awake and enjoy my time with Giada. So I'm going to finish straightening up here a little bit and wipe down my counters. Chill out and we're going to hit the road. So I'm taking a few minutes just to straighten myself up a little bit. Just put a little, uh, my under eye concealer that I love. The Too Faced, um, What's this, the Born This Way multi-use. Oh, my nose is itchy. So yeah, I'm just gonna just do a little bit of this, plop on a little bit more color on my cheeks, my lips, and we're gonna head out to Pittsburgh. Mark is picking up my mom and my mother-in-law, and uh, Allie's on her way. Kate's meeting us there. Oh my, wow, okay, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, this really was a crazy busy afternoon. I can't believe how much I got done. Cannot believe it. So, wanted to check in, say hello, and get ready to see our baby girl. And everything smells so good. I have it in the oven, just uh, heating up a little bit, just so it doesn't, you know, just keeping it warm because we got the hour ride, even though I've got these little containers, like, you know, I can keep everything warm, which is great, so. I'm really excited to see Giada, and hopefully they'll enjoy all this delicious food. I feel bad that I didn't make anything, but at the same time, too, it was just, a, just so easy just to go to this Italian place and, you know, get the food, and that way we can all just chill out and enjoy each other. And uh, so I'll try to, uh, snap a picture here well i will snap a picture and i will put it here in the vlog i'm not sure if i will vlog so please don't be offended if i don't i just really want to take the time to enjoy family but i will snap a picture and uh, insert it so you guys can see how just beautiful our baby girl is uh, she's going to be what five weeks old
Good morning, friends. It's Tuesday, June 25th, and I'm heading out to take my mom to, uh, she has another procedure this morning, and, and then little Caitlin comes in. I think maybe I told you guys this yesterday, and she has to say, um, a doctor appointment, and I told her I would just go along with her, and then we're picking up Mark's new car. Um, I'm trying to find my coffee. I don't know where I put it. I have no idea. So then we're gonna go pick up Mark's new car um, this afternoon, and then I got to get everything cleaned upstairs because my sister and Julie will be here tomorrow for the weekend, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm just trying to gather everything together to head on out and I just wanted to pop on and say good morning uh, not sure how much I'm gonna vlog this morning because in this afternoon because I'll be in, in and out of doctor's offices but it's gonna be a gorgeous day and I'm looking forward to getting Mark's new car and uh, just enjoying this day and actually I'll get to spend a little more extra time with Kate today so uh, I just wanted to say hi and I'll check in a little bit later good morning friends today is Wednesday June 26th doing a cup of coffee while I'm editing a video and my view here is just simply beautiful this morning gorgeous day my sister and Julie are coming in today for the weekend so I'm gonna go get my hair colored and uh, wait for them to come in get some groceries so here's my view today all right friends <laughs> I'm heading to get my hair colored I gotta go get some groceries and uh, get back here and get them all put away and then wait for my sister and Julie to get here. Uh, I'm really excited to see them. We're gonna have a great week. Uh, just, uh, they have like a, um, a class reunion they have to go to this weekend, but we're gonna, I think, cook out tonight and then tomorrow. Oh, you yeah, guys, I didn't tell you what happened, by the way. Yeah, that's why I didn't film a little bit. I was off and on last night. I had to film a little bit with my phone. Uh, after I got home, my mom, everything went really well with my mom's procedure, so I wanted to let you know that. Uh, same with Caitlin, had her doctor appointment, all that went well, it was just like a checkup. When I came home, I pulled out the camera to film, and I dropped it, and it broke. Lauren and I have two cameras. The one that I use, um, we also use for all of our weekly filming, so I gotta take it to the camera place and see if it somehow can be repaired. But now I'm using our second camera, the one that Lauren uses to vlog. And uh, so we're gonna have to get another camera. I'm so upset that, I mean, all the times we use our cameras and vlog, that's the first time that's ever happened. And it literally just slipped out of my hand. I thought, oh, that's fine. You can tell nothing was cracked and then what, it's just, it's done, I think. Fingers crossed it's not, we'll see. Uh, so I didn't have a camera. I tried to use my phone. It's so hard to use your phone because the volume just never sounds as good as it does like on our cameras here. Uh, yeah, so that's that's what happened yesterday. I want to go ahead and get things gathered up here, head out, get the grays covered, get some groceries, and uh, it's a gorgeous day. So I look forward to uh, having you guys come along with me. Good morning, friends. Today is June 27th. It is Thursday, so this is breakfast. We're gonna have some fresh berries, and I made my eggs with tomatoes. I'm gonna put some fresh basil. Basil. These are my eggs with the sauteed tomatoes. I'm gonna add some fresh basil. We're gonna sit outside and enjoy this gorgeous morning. So here is breakfast. Looks so delicious. You wanna say good morning, girls? Nope. Okay. The girls will say okay. Say hi real quick. Good morning. Tully. <laughs> All right, we're gonna enjoy breakfast out on the patio. Well, hello. You guys saw my breakfast obviously this morning. Or Bev and Julie, we were outside, enjoyed such a gorgeous morning. So now we're gonna head out. Um, they have the class reunion on Saturday, and um, I know they wanted to get Julie wanted to get some new shoes. So I just got on this dress I wore it before. It's a very comfortable t-shirt dress, and we're gonna go look for shoes for her. And then we grab some lunch. I uh, just enjoy this beautiful day, and then we're gonna go out somewhere fun tonight. Not sure where that's gonna be yet, uh, but I'm enjoying just a you know just a fun time with them and uh, this gorgeous summer weather. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some shoes on. I think I might wear those Croc shoes. Oh my gosh, they're so comfortable, you guys. And uh, we're gonna head out. So if anything is interesting while we're out and about, I'll pull out the camera. But just wanted to say hello, check in, and. Um, Say hello. 
So I'm taking, I just took my sister and Julie here to Poor Life Eatery and this is the uh, the kale Caesar salad with spicy chicken and I just use a little bit of dressing. Uh, so this is, I mean, very little bit. And I'm telling you, it's, guys, this is so delicious. So I cannot wait to dig in and hopefully they'll enjoy theirs too. Change, I'm ready to head out. We're gonna go to the Lake Club for dinner tonight. I've got this dress that I, um, you know, I had last year and actually it was a little bit tight last year. So I'm liking that it's looser and so much more comfortable to wear right now. So I'll show you, excuse my mess behind me. I've got the iron out, shoes everywhere. <laughs> so here's the outfit. And I got my, I love these. These are from the uh, Target, these wedges. So here is my outfit. I've like gone into some of the apples. Eggplant, olives, cheeses. Do you want to put the egg peppers in oil? Tuna. club go to the pool for a little bit uh, and just you know enjoy this gorgeous day today they have a pre kind of a party uh, event tonight for their um, high school reunion Bev's high school reunion and uh, so we thought I thought I was taking them to the pool for a little bit today then they can come home and get ready and then I think we'll obviously do stuff with Mark and I with our friends tonight so I just wanted to jump on and say hey again bathing suit this cute cover-up I got actually I think was this fat fit fun or is this box of style I can't remember fat fit fun <laughs> I like it it's really cute so I'll show you here so here it is I like because it ties you know real simply here and I'm gonna get my shoes on my little flip-flops and I've got, I love my Kendra Scott earrings. Remember when we went to Vegas last year? We went to Vegas, when we went to Vegas last year, Lauren uh, got us all uh, Kendra Scott earrings because she knows how much I love Kendra Scott. So I love them. They look go great with the pink in my bathing suit. We're gonna head out. So we'll take you guys along with us uh, for this gorgeous summer afternoon. That's right, I wanted to show you guys these sunglasses. I got them yesterday at Kohl's. I love them. They remind me of my Ray-Bans, but these have like now the pink tone, opposed to like the orangey tones my Ray-Bans have. So I just wanted to share these with you. We're heading into the pool. Look at me and jo Beaver and Jolie got our new shades on. <laughs> so we are back from the pool. We had so much fun. It was a beautiful day today. I uh, just perfect to be at the pool um jody my friend jody came and met us my mom came for a little bit and uh it was just a great day so now we're home showered up bev and julie are getting ready to go to their class reunion uh like a pre-party <laughs> and uh so mark and i are gonna go over mike and kim's and hang out on their new patio which i'll show you guys because they just got it finished and we haven't seen it yet uh what i have on today i got i love this shirt this is from uh amazon it's an off the shoulder shirt Oh, it's so super cute here. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like like that. 
just some white jeans. I'm gonna wear some flat sandals, I think. And uh, just enjoy sitting on their patio. Maybe grab a bite to dinner, I'm not sure. Uh, and just enjoy a beautiful night tonight. So I'll, you know, I'll bring the camera and I'm sure Mike and Kim won't mind if I share their new patio with you guys. And then tomorrow, uh, we're gonna do some stuff around the house. And I'm not sure what Mark and I are gonna do tomorrow. I'm thinking I might take tomorrow night just to get organized, uh, to get things packed for Vegas. And I wanna, would like to share some things, um, some different things again, like I mentioned before, that I'm gonna be taking. And uh, just get all that organized. So well, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, put my gloss on and uh, get ready to head out. Oh, is it rainy? Guys, I thought I'd show you my inkies. How pretty is this? So it's beautiful. I can't wait to see it all done, but I promised you guys I'd share it with you. All right, guys, well, it is 10 o'clock. Um, well, we got out tonight after we left Mike and Kim's for dinner, and we sat underneath, you know, like a porch at this outdoor restaurant, or at this restaurant, and it just started torrential downpour. So we just basically ate and hurry up and just left. I'm just so chilly. Yeah, vlogging. So I was just so chilly. I came home, took off my clothes, and put my jammies on in a nice thick robe because it's just, you know, when you're wet and then you come in the air conditioning. <laughs> so I'm just like staying cozy. Um, Mark and I are just going to watch a little more TV and then go, go to bed and then uh, get up tomorrow and um, just get some stuff done around the house. So uh, I just wanted to pop on and didn't really, like I said, didn't want to want to film. It was so rainy, so um, wasn't too it was a nice dinner. But you know, we came home and now we're just comfy and just chilling out and uh, gonna, like I said, watch a little TV for a little bit. I know, RJ, I missed you too. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting, you guys. So, all right, well, I will see you in the morning. Well, good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. It's the 29th of June and I am going to head out and get some groceries. We're gonna have my mom and my mother-in-law um, over for lunch, and Julie is going to add some, um, I need some plugs in the island, one in the family room. So she's gonna do that, and my sister and I are gonna to run to the grocery store. We're gonna have my mother, like I said, and my mother-in-law for some lunch, just to chill out a little bit. And uh, then tonight, I think I wanna be in full gear to just get things organized for our trip. So I'm gonna have you guys. I wish I, I wish I could do like a live or something, so I could say, hey, should I take this or should I take that, and have you guys answer back. That would be really super cool. Uh, maybe I'll do that on Instagram. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, well, if I did, you'll know by now. If I didn't, you'll know by now. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna get things together. I'm gonna get a grocery list together and uh, head out to the grocery store. I wanted to pop on, say good morning. I haven't even had a cup of coffee yet, and it's 10:02. I've got to get moving here. Well, if you're hearing a lot in the background, Julie is putting in our pot, but I'm going to show you some lunch. That's so good. Well, we're gonna go ahead and whip up some dinner here on the Saturday night, which is highly unusual for us to actually be home tonight, but I'm getting a lot accomplished and packed for um, an upcoming trip. So we're gonna have uh, some scallops with some lemon, a little bit of butter, and uh, then some squash to saute. That's really about it. I'm really not that hungry, so something very simple and easy. I'll share the recipe with you, and also I'll share the recipe with what we had for lunch today. It was really good. It was uh, a marinade that we marinated shrimp and chicken in and used that same marinade as the dressing. It was really good. And the salad was with mixed greens and uh, red onion, tomato, avocado, um, a little feta cheese. So very delicious. I'm sorry about the noise in the background. A lot of stuff was happening here, so I really couldn't film. You guys were probably hearing all that noise, but I will share the recipe in the description section because it really was delicious. So let's get cooking. Just up the vegetables, sauteing in a little olive oil, salt and pepper, and I'm going to top them off with a bowl of fresh pecorino romano cheese whenever they're done. And we've got some garlic in the pan here with a little olive oil, a little lemon juice. We're going to add to it with a scallop. So we've got the scallops cooking on the one side. We're going to flip them just for another minute, a few minutes, and they should be good to go. And 
There's the zucchini uh, uh, and the uh, squash already done, and I added the picorino romano cheese. That easy. Okay, dinner is served, and I can't wait to dig in because this really does look delicious. So, here is my rolling rack. I'm going to share with you uh, what I've got packed so far. Lined up to pack, I should say. So this is the um, cover up the Margaret Josephs that I shared with you guys with the beautiful lace. Obviously you can tell it is a cover up because it is sheer, <laughs> but I love, like, like I said earlier in my vlog, this lace detailing. And I'm gonna pair it with this beautiful bathing suit, which I oh, just absolutely love it. So these two. And you're probably thinking, why do you have a different cover up and a different bathing suit for every day? Well, that's just what we all do when we all go on trips together. Here's another Margaret Joseph's cover up. Uh, I just think these colors are just really gorgeous. And again, I love the lace detailing. Uh, it's just really a beautiful, uh, I think it's a perfect cover up for Vegas. I mean, I'll obviously wear it when we go to the pool, but I just think it's perfect for that. And I'm pairing it with this beautiful bathing suit here. And then the third one is, this is the kimono that I got, oh my goodness, maybe two years ago, I think in my box of style it's by um helena quinn i love it this is such a gorgeous kimono and it's one of those ones you can even wear with a tank underneath and like white jeans or you know ripped jeans it's just so super cool really pretty so it's multifunctional actually and i'm going to pair it with this bathing suit here so you can see how pretty those are going to look together uh we are going to go to a concert when we uh are on our trip so i've got this over the shoulder beautiful a uh, very sheer lightweight uh, top and what I do too you guys is I put my jewelry that I think I'm gonna wear with it just for now so I can see what it looks like and then of course I will pack it away in my jewelry container you know my travel bag and so it's this lariat here and then with some white jeans I've got here and then this, I'm thinking, I'm actually going to wear this when we head to Vegas. Uh, I've got jeans that I'm going to wear with this. This is, you know, it's sheer, but it's um, got longer sleeve because it's always so chilly on the airplane. And we're getting in late, so it should be cooler in the 70s at night when we get there. So I, I think this will be perfect for that. And again, I got this beautiful kind of choker necklace to wear with that. I got this desert out dress to wear. You know, we may not want to spend... You know all day at the pool us girls like to do something you know, a little shopping and walking around so i thought this would be the perfect dress for that and uh, i got this adorable jean jacket i love the detailing here of the sleeve and here at the bottom of the jacket uh, i like that it's short sleeve i think it's a perfect jean jacket you know for just you know if i wanted to something during the day walking in and out you know i know it's going to be sweltering hot but it gets chilly when you go in the casinos and different shops and stuff like that. So I thought just sometimes it's just nice to have a little extra coverage when you are in the casinos and like I said, in some of the shops. Now this dress you guys have also seen before, obviously it needs ironed yet. But I'm going to wear this one of the evenings with this little lace um, tank underneath because it is low cut in the back and I need something to cover my strapless bra. So this is one of the outfits. And then of course I love this black jumpsuit. Uh, so super cool, you know, dress it up, dress it down. And again, I have a lariat necklace hanging that I'm going to be wearing with this one. I do have a longer sleeve jean jacket. Uh, you know, probably more or less it's going to be warm. I'm thinking more on the flight home. Um, or again, if, you know, we're going to be somewhere, we know it's going to be really chilly inside. I'll just carry this with me. I'm going to wear this probably with some leggings. I'm thinking uh, for the right for the flight home. And then of course I've got my, these are my bags that I love to travel with. This, this, these ones particularly are for shoes. I've got my other ones in my suitcase that I need to pull out yet. And what I do is I like to carry a beach bag as my carry-on. So I just put my magazines and you know, whatever else I need in here. So it's like multi-purpose as my carry-on and obviously when we go to the pool every day. And gotta, gotta have a hat. So I've got my beach hat here. And then below here, I've got the, the Crocs shoes because these are so comfortable. And I'll probably wear these like, you know, with this outfit here, uh, probably on the flight down, you know, and even when we're out and about walking, uh, maybe with my Desigual dress and uh, just some flip flops here. Um, 
you know, just some white ones and some gold ones over here. I really have no idea yet which shoes I'm going to wear with these two outfits. Um, I do want something comfortable. I'm not going to be one that's going to be trotting around Vegas in high heel shoes. It's just not going to happen. My little weak ankles will not be able to handle it, but I want something cute uh, but comfortable. So that's just one thing i got to pick out yet. But other than that, you guys, I think this is this is it. So, you know, besides some of my, you know, undergarments and things like that and pajamas, uh, maybe just one more little pair of shoes to throw in to wear with these two outfits. I think I am good to go. Oh, and of course a purse, I forgot, right here. I'm gonna pack this one and maybe just a smaller purse to wear with some of the outfits. This is the uh, one from BH Mafia, which I absolutely love. Also wanted to share with you, I, you know, you guys that have followed us for a long time know how much I love the person, company, the line of products that they have for travel. This one I always keep my cosmetics, not my cosmetics, my skincare in, in this size here, which I really love. Now this pattern has been since retired, but they've got so many different patterns. And then this one is uh, for my all my jewelry. And just a tip, you guys, uh, this is something I've done for a long time. Um, is I carry these antibacterial wipes and I wipe down everything on the plane <laughs> and in the hotel room, you know, just like the, um, the light switches and the remote control door handles. And then again, when you're on the aircraft, you know, the seat belt, the tray in front of you, the seat, the seat where your head goes, everything. I really believe in just keeping everything super, uh, clean and, you know, you just want to make sure you get any kind of bacteria and stuff like that. You just want to try to wipe it away. So. That is one of my tips. I know, sorry about the lighting guys, but as far as perfume, I think I'm gonna wear the, uh, this one by Victor and Wolf. I think I'm gonna bring this one. And I think like I mentioned to you guys, I've gotta bring my Joe Malone because I mean, to me that is just Vegas. And what else do I wanna bring? Oh, and I just love, this. I just love my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. So I think these are the three I'm probably going to uh, pack for the trip. Okay, and I know this may seem a bit absurd to you but all, but I'm gonna bring three different pairs of sunglasses. These are my diff glasses. They go with, I think, certain bathing suits, cover-ups. These are my Ray-Bans. These got more of like that kind of orangey tint to them. They're so beautiful. And these are actually that I got from Kohl's and they got like the pinky gold. So I really love all three. I think they all just have a really cool, unique, different look. And yeah, I'm gonna bring all of them. So good morning, friends. Happy Sunday. We're getting ready to head out to uh, Mark's cousin, uh, cousin who is, um, like we said, a priest. It's his 50th anniversary mass, and uh, then we're going to have a luncheon, come home, change, and then head out to Pittsburgh. Gorgeous day here today. Absolutely beautiful. So we're waiting for little Archie to go potty, and we're going to head out to, uh, to mass. Um, here's the church where the mass is going to be. Such a gorgeous day today. It's so beautiful. A lot of the nuns are showing up for this anniversary mass. So special. this amazing drink that Jolie made for us the other night and I thought why not have Jolie share with all of you for your 4th of July weekend celebrations. Now this is a cocktail you can make it easily as a mocktail but I wanted Jolie to share with you how this is made because honest to God it is so good. So Jolie how do you make this drink and what is it? What do you name it? What is Absol it called? This is yes absolutely this is one of our favorite drinks it's so refreshing. Um, so we call it Straw basilade. Oh, it's fresh strawberries, fresh basil, and lemonade. How much more summer can you get? Yes, that screams summer to me. <laughs> and it's frozen, so it'll definitely keep you cool on those hot summer days. To make it light, I think a, a lot of us are counting calories these days, I make it with crystal light. I just use the size that's made for pitchers, and I just measure out a couple of, tape, a couple of teaspoons of it in our um, recipe. So we start off with two and a half cups of ice. 
Okay. And then to that, depending on how strong you like it, yes. <laughs> we do anywhere between a half and two thirds cup of vodka. Today we're using Tito's, but just use the vodka of your choice. Okay. And also to help it blend a little bit better, I'm gonna add about a half a cup of water. So you can be a little hydrated with the water. <laughs> hydrated. <laughs> okay. And then, like I said, we're gonna take the pitcher size, whoops. <laughs> we're gonna take the pitcher size of the crystal light and just measure out two teaspoons. Okay. And this recipe is gonna make about three 10 ounce cocktails. Perfect. And we're having them in nice little mason jar glasses today. Yes. But whatever you have works lovely. Okay. We're gonna do three strawberries. Mm -hmm. And then about five or six um, leaves of basil, seven if you like it. We love basil. So we're gonna put about seven in Okay. Ours. Okay, throw the basil in. We'll show you how pretty this looks, okay. Now we're this is my ninja, so. Yeah, so we're using the Ninja, but you can use any blender that you have. And if you have a blender, you're gonna probably uh, realize that you can make a little bit bigger batches too. Right, so here we go. That looks good. Mm -hmm. That looks good. So good. Okay, so we'll move our mason jars closer. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, you guys. You can smell that fresh basil. And I poured a little heavy, so I apologize. Beverly, you're getting a little short end of the draw here. <laughs> oh no, my sister <laughs> right. is here, so she's gonna sample this and just like show you guys. Yeah, and I like to um, garnish them with a little fresh strawberry on the rim and some a little basil leaf inside. So you guys can see that. I'll take the shorty one. <laughs> All right, on this is Beverly. my sister hey, Beverly, hey, so we're gonna cheers. sample cheers. Happy cheers. Happy Fourth of July weekend. Happy Fourth of July weekend. Okay. Oh my gosh. I know. It is so good. The Be basil. careful, they will sneak up on you. <laughs> they will. Now, if you wanted to make it as a mocktail, obviously just omit the Tito's. Yes, um, and just replace the Tito's with water. Yes. Because you need something to help the, the ice blend in Correct. together. Correct, yeah. right. So I say, you guys, enjoy your holiday weekend. You know, enjoy your family and friends, but this is such a delicious, like you said, like on a farm fresh garden yes. cocktail. Yep, enjoy on your patio, sleep. Enjoy, Happy thanks, Julie. Enjoy weekend. Happy Fourth July weekend. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, guys, so I wanna end my vlog tonight, but I wanted to share with you my Karen's loves, and three of them are actually something that just came out today, though I got to sample the other day and I wore it. I put a ton on before I left the place because I wanted to wear it so much that I loved it, but I had to go back today to purchase it. And actually, it's a makeup line, and it is, I have notes here. It is Beyonce's makeup artist, Sir John, and he teamed up with Disney. And uh, this is called the Luminous Cosmetics for uh, Lion King Makeup Collection. So what I have is I picked up the uh, highlighter which is so beautiful and who does not have love highlighter in the summertime right here it's hard to see because I'm outside by the fire pit as you guys can see and then I also picked up the lipstick now there's two shades but I love this one and hold on I'm gonna see what color it is to give it to you guys hold on a minute make sure you guys have the right shade it's I think this one is called gosh I don't have my glasses on hold on it's called Lion's Mane and it's a beautiful red the one that you guys saw the other day that I wore Try to twist this up. You can see the red. It was so gorgeous. Perfect for the summer. It's like so beautiful. They have like one, it's a little bit more nude, but I thought it might wash me out. When I put this on, the girls at Ulta were like, oh my God, that looks so pretty on you. So here it is. You see with the lighting? And then one of the girls suggested from Clinique that I actually use a lip liner, which I would have used anyway, but this is one is by Urban Decay. It's a 24 hour one. And it is the color, hold on, got my notes. And it is the color, oh my gosh, bang. So, those are my Karen's loves. So thank you guys so much for following me along this uh, week on my week vlog. 
If you guys want to follow along next week, we're going to be in Vegas, so make sure you check out us on Instagram, that to orchids.com. I want to thank my sister and Julie for uh, just, you know, joining us this week. We had so much fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed that cocktail. And thank you so much for following me on this week's vlog. So until next time, we'll see you in two weeks. Bye.